congratulations. Can you just talk us through that and give us your reflection on the fight? Great fight, you know, um, Gavin Gwynn again, he's given all a great account of himself, he's a real tough lad. Um, Shamer caught him in the crowd and they're back it up, you know, it was a great, great, great fight. Um, over the moon to get the win, you know, I'm absolutely buzzing. And on that note, I'd like to dedicate this one to a big panther, Mark Pantagas, and all the Pantagas family back home. It was a clo close first round, lots of exchanges. Is that how you imagined the fight to begin? At very fast pace it was? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I knew, I knew Gav would be in it the first few rounds. You know, I knew he's a real tough lad, he's got a big heart. So, you know, I knew first few rounds, I knew there would be nip and tuck. On paper, he was your perhaps your toughest opponent that you faced at lightweight. Did he impress you with how tough he was? You hit him with a huge shot and a, a huge right hand in the third. Yeah, you know, he, listen, I knew he was a tough lad. I've seen him fighting before. You know, he gave a real good account himself. Joe Corrini, he was never, he was always in the fight. So you know, I knew it was, I knew it was going to be tough the first few rounds. Yeah. You said to me, when the opportunity presents itself, you will take it. It was the uppercut that seemed to get things going, and it was a menacing finish, wasn't it? Talk us through that. Absolutely. You know, as soon as I seen that I had him hurt, you know, and he's back up. You know, I knew just put it straight on, you know, I would get there. You said that you wanted to win the uh, br the British title and add it to your collection. How does it feel to be taking that back to Belfast? Absolutely over the moon, you know. Belongs to the past, got a lot of history behind it, you know, now I'm one of the holders. Um, just listening to Daddy Hearn's plans there and, you know, the sort of plans I like to hear that's really excite me. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to the future of Matchroom. That's five knockouts from five since moving up to 135. If you didn't have the lightweight division on notice, you certainly do now. <laughs> Thank you.